Hmm, you ever wonder when this, you know, fireworks tent will be taken out? Probably next month, maybe the end of the month. Who knows? You got plenty of time to stock up, guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we're back. Blockaborg. Finally a video that it's not about my new Blockburg beach town. I'm gonna take a few days off from that, but I I still will be working on it off camera here and there. But yeah, today, yes, I'll be building a house, but each room will be one texture only. So the entirety of that one room is gonna be one texture. Even the furniture, I believe. I think this was one of a one of the ideas from the comment section. And you know what? I'm up for it. I'm down for it. I'm I'm down to make a really questionable house after trying so hard to make a nice build. <laughs> To spice things up as well, I of course have a mystery wheel to help me decide which textures I will use because I'm very indecisive. So it's my mystery wheel and it's actually fitting for the summer because I turned it to a beach ball. So we have all of, well, not all of the textures, but we have most of the textures from the game. Um, so if you want to look at them, you can pause the video and stuff. I'm not going to say all of them, but there's a lot. And I made sure to include the new ones, which is like foil. Well, actually, no, not foil. Wicker. We have the water caustics um foil i don't know foil i think foil is one of the i don't know actually but i made sure to include the newer uh textures as well so hopefully maybe we'll get those for this video i have to build a house okay fun times guys fun times i can't wait for this special tap to go away because i'm already stocked up and it's kind of messing up my building mojo speed <laughs> my block burke speed my building speed has slightly decreased because of this special tab because you're so used to things being where they are and if you add one category to move things over it's gonna mess up everything okay we'll start with the little z okay that's like a really it's a z it's a lightning bolt i didn't think about adding a garage to this let's do a little garage bump out here boom that but still i'm gonna add something here uh this side looks boring so i'm just gonna add something out here that will totally make a gnarly roof that's gonna make such a great roof let's roof it let's roof this and see what we will what we'll come up with wow that is ugly <laughs> that, what am i building ugly <laughs> This roof in the back though, oh my lord, this, that is not good. One problem of a, of a auto roof. I've totally built this, I've totally built this. Let's get some dormers or something. Get some decorative, unnecessary dormers probably. Put my sneakers on. <laughs> wow, this house looks busy. <laughs> this house looks crazy. I'm gonna keep that. It looks dumb, but I'm gonna keep it because why not? Okay, flat. Let's go make a little porch here. Put a little porch here. I wonder if there's any other front doors I could use. I've been using these this front door too much. How about the arched one? There we go. Change a uh, chain. I should do. I should do a video where I just make a house with things I never use or barely use ever again. I think that will be another fun video idea. Let's build like a farmhouse, sort of farmhouse. Do a little garage. I wonder what other type of garage doors they could make because that would be kind of cool. Just more of anything. Has anyone, I feel like out of all the new things that we've gotten for like lamp lights, I've never used these. <laughs> Maybe for a more modern build, yeah, but no, I haven't used those at all. Our house is made out of wicker material. Oh man, you know, I'm not, don't look too bad from a distance. I wouldn't mind it <laughs> from a distance. I saved it. Did I save it? Oh my, this is the weirdest shaped house. I Who cares? Who cares? The inside is going to be ugly anyways. You know, one day I'm going to go on a building break again. I'm going to go on another building break. This, I'm just feeling it. At least I did quite a bit with the, I mean, not too much, but I've, I've done like three to four videos already on the town, the beach town. Okay. I saved the back slightly. It's, it's this wicker texture. No, not happening. It's not happening. Oh, wait, I kind of like that. Oh, oh my gosh. Why? Where were you my whole life? Just kidding. Okay, I just went ahead and just finished the exterior for the most part. Um, here's what it looks like. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Well, <laughs> I spent a bit of time. Yeah, the back and that one side with the dormers are very, very interesting. But I, I like the front and this is all you're seeing. Even the flooring has to be that, that texture as well. Like literally everything in that one room. So this is going to be a bathroom downstairs. Area will be the kitchen. So I guess I'll like 
close this off. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be the living room area. Gosh, okay, upstairs. Oh my gosh, the upstairs is quite an amount of space here. Oh gosh, okay, hold on just a second. Yeah, there's a roof problem. One of the things on my wish list for Blockberg updates is being able to like flip your gable roof no matter what size it is. Cause I know in, I think Roville has a feature where you can like flip your gable roof no matter what size it is. Cause it, you, in order for your gable roof to face a certain way like this right here, this way, it has to be longer this way. So I'm hoping in the future, like I'm one of, I'm begging, okay? I am begging for us to have like gable roofs that can rotate, okay? I know, I know the slanted roofs can rotate, but this is a problem, okay? This is a problem and I hate it. I hate it. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. Nah, yeah, that don't look too bad now. See? Okay, I don't really have to think too much about this because like mystery will decide what texture I will be using for these things anyway, so... Okay, we're good. All right, let's decorate. Let's finally do the challenge. Oh my gosh. Where do we begin? Let's begin with the kitchen. Ah, yes, you figured it out. Spit in the wheel. There's a lot of textures to choose from, but what will it land on? I can't even tell what like sections are. Okay, it's plaid. Plaid. <laughs> Just kidding. Plaid. So we can only use plaid texture for this entire room. Let me actually, hold on, let me go back, go out and go back in. This landscaping is weird. But anyway, living room, I guess I'm just gonna do this whole area here. Did I not? Oh my gosh, I didn't switch back this entire time. Oh my gosh. I was decorating, I was decorating my kitchen, but it was stuck on the mystery wheel. It was on the mystery wheel screen the entire time. So here's my kitchen, guys. <laughs> I spent all the time decorating this kitchen and like sh showing it. But here we are, all right, guys? So everything in this room is plaid. It is all the same texture, all one texture, but you can use any colors you want. Like you can mix and stuff. Um, some of these, uh, some of these like things don't have texture option. And those are, oh wait, I forgot about these. Oh my God. Like some of the parts of the objects don't have a material option. So that's easily excusable. That's just fine. Um, as long as most of the room is seemingly one texture, we are good. I kind of like it. I don't know. It's a little, a little crazy, a little wild, but yeah. And then the inner doors, the ones that don't show up outside are, I'm going to change the texture to that too of the room. So yeah, even the fence, even this like staircase and the railing and these lights are also excusable because only one option of it is has a material option. The other two is just like, but yeah, that's my kitchen so let's move on to the area over here i'm sorry my mystery wheel was stuck on this stuck on the screen okay let's go to this area this is gonna be the living room connected whole area here through wheel and spin for that living room this whole big living room i guess it's going to be cobblestone <laughs> cobblestone so cobblestone will be in this entire room here uh, once again we can use the texture it all has to be the exact texture but we can use different colors because as long as it's the same texture we are good feel free to mix whatever you want <coughs> This is all cobblestone. Once again, the windows, I will not be changing the windows. I will not be changing the door that shows up on the exterior of the house because I want the I want the exterior to be nice still. But if we had any doors that were like inside, yeah, I would change that. Actually, I might have to do that. There's a door right here. I'm gonna change that. And this, you know, this this door frame, you know, I'm gonna excuse that as well because it's on both sides. Like this, it's, this side's plaid and this side's cobble. If they had the option where each side of the frame was could be could have been a different texture, I would have done that. But I'm just gonna keep it plain. Cobblestone living room, guys. We're living. Let's get this. Reminding me of like medieval times or something like cavemen times. How about okay? Instead, I'll do living room here. You will be there, and then we'll have the office stuff here. Okay. Good flip. Good flip. I hope I have enough money to decorate you know i won't go too crazy with how i decorate these things i will not go i don't think i'm gonna put my full effort into it maybe i can make this into a dining area you know i'm gonna do that i, I am already dreading trying to fill up that space i think this will be just a separate dining room here i, I will add that wall trim because it you know it helps a bit with the room slightly you know it doesn't look that bad am i crazy for thinking that it's not that bad i'm moving this tree it's intruding in on my house and i do not appreciate that why does this kind of look good i'm <laughs> Why does this look good? Why do I like this? Okay, and this light is fine too. Once again, okay, that's good. And then we'll just put the light here, put a light here. Oh, wow. I'm gonna get a nice runner carpet. Let me see. Let me get a long carpet put here, but we're gonna cobblestone that. Maybe it's just the colors. I don't know. Maybe I chose some good colors. Oh, I forgot. Almost forgot about the TV. Oh my gosh. 
people are gonna yell at me. They're gonna be like, oh, you didn't color TV. Okay, the TV doesn't have any material options. We're just gonna leave it like that, but I did. Ooh, not this. This whole TV stand is cobbled though. So that's making sure I don't forget anything. These are just pillars. The fruits will definitely not be cobbled, but the, the bowl of it that it's in will be cobbled. Wow, that's kind of nice. All right, so that's our living room. That's our kitchen done. Let's go ahead and move into the, let's go to the second floor. Let's just, let's just start working on the bedrooms, like just the major rooms first, then we'll do the little rooms. I don't think I'm gonna put too much in these bedrooms. I'm just gonna like put the minimal effort in the bedrooms. Ooh, oh, planks long, wood planks. Wood planks. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's for, you know, it doesn't matter what bedroom it is because they're like the same size. Okay. We'll do this one for the wood planks. The floor all wooden plank. Um, let's get some wall trims that are wooden plank because that will totally help this out. Now we're having like a lodge. This is like a cabin styled room or something. I don't know. Once again, I'm going to do minimal effort for these bedrooms. I'm just going to grab the bed. Um, let's get the bed in here. We'll get a nightstand. I'm going to speed run these bedrooms. What is a carpet going to... Oh, actually, it will make a difference, right? If we do a carpet. Ah! I'm gonna steal Carvo real quick from down here so I don't have to look for it. Why? I'm kind of liking this. Maybe it is just the colors that are doing it for me. Maybe it doesn't take much to impress me. It probably doesn't. It actually doesn't take that much to impress me. Oh, you can change the texture of the TV. Wow, that's good. But even the TV is wooden planks. Okay. Yeah, even the light itself is wooden planks. That's hilarious. That's the gold right there. I, I don't know why I've been loving this simplicity shelf. I do like the little um support underneath these. I don't want to do anything else. This is this this is all I want to do for the bedroom here. So let's move on to the next bedroom next to that. Quickly, let's choose a texture. All right, wooden planks are done. If we get the same texture, maybe... No, we'll do different ones. Detailed tiles, large mosaic tiles. Detailed titles. Titles? Detailed titles. I, that meant tiles. This is this is it. Detailed tiles. Oh man. Okay, this is this is the royal palace vibes right here. This is royal palace. I am in a royal palace. I might just do the same thing for this bedroom. You know what? I'm saving money. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do like. I'm just gonna do paper. And you can change the texture of paper. So. Oh no, you can't. I lied. <laughs> my, 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 my. What have we got ourselves here? You know what? That's it for this bedroom. It is detailed tiles for that room. So our, yeah, major rooms are done. This landing area, let's go and work on that. The landing area, I'm not gonna do too much with that landing either. <laughs> There's just not much I want to do in that landing. Cobblestone again? No colorful cubes, yes, colorful cubes. There we go. All right, it's this one. Oh my God, there's no way. There, oh, oh no, this is gonna look terrible. <laughs> this is gonna be, the most eyesore, the most eyesore texture yet. Yeah, the doors will represent which room has what had what texture in it. <gasps> oh, that was supposed to be an ensuite bathroom. You know what? Maybe I can change that to a, a laundry room. I'm gonna do that. I forgot about this being an ensuite like bathroom. So that would be a laundry room instead. Very small. Okay, I'm just gonna change this. The landing area is not something I decorate very much. So this is gonna be super quick. Okay, I'm just gonna like grab. So there's one thing on here that I can't texture pillows are safe okay they are safe nothing that carpet will do nothing no matter what color <laughs> it's gonna be ugly this is the worst room yet i feel like every other room has had some sort of like redemption or like some nice part thing about it but this room takes the cake for being actually terrible there's nothing i can do about it i don't think with this texture like no at least with the other textures you could actually help it by changing colors but this one no matter what colors you change the colorful cubes to it's i don't think i want to do anything else with this spot so you know what at least we color the walls and floors and added a few things that's it for this room i know it's a little sad and boring but that's because the texture itself is sad and crazy boring moving on uh let's do these uh these these this laundry room here let's do that laundry room. spinning i love spinning spin 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 hold on let me just move this okay Let's see what we got. Futuristic pattern for the laundry room. Wow, they're so excited for this. I don't mind that for a laundry room. Okay, this laundry room, not gonna have much in it either. Um, we're just gonna put our usual washer and dryer. Okay, on the washing machine, there's only one material changing swatch. So we'll just do that. 
That will also be... Nope. The basket cannot be changed. So, it's fine. We'll just leave it like that. That's okay. Reason why I haven't been adding these plants is because some of them can't... Like, only the pots, I guess, can be changed. But the actual plant can't be... Alright, so last but not least upstairs is the bathroom. So, let's go ahead and spin for the bathroom upstairs. Which one texture shall we be using today? <gasps> it's gonna be bark. <laughs> It's gonna be bark. All right. I. <laughs> That's fine. We can have a cabin bathroom. Bark. Don't bark. Do not bark. Look, it looks like um doors. You know, doors to different dimensions. You can tell what is which is what. Except for this one. You know, I'll, I'll change this one. Okay, there's only one thing that's not bark, and it's the glass, but that's okay. Uh, let's get a toilet there, which is also bark. I'm honestly just only putting down like the necessities in here. Why does that not look bad? I don't know. It looks crazy, but it doesn't look bad, right? It doesn't look bad. Can't texture these books, but I can definitely texture these. No, I can't. I can't texture these books. Oh my. That's okay. There you go. At least it matches. All right. You know, I'm done with this bathroom. All right. So the upstairs is done. We have done all of the rooms up here. We just have to do... Okay, let's do the garage. You guys, you guys already know how I feel about the garage. Let's see how this handles. This one will be <gasps> horizontal planks, or it could be slate. <laughs> horizontal planks, wow, yay. You know, this one might not actually be that bad. It might not be that bad at all. You know what, this is very fitting. It's It, it gives me shed vibes, it's giving me shed vibes already in the garage. Okay, I can't change any of the textures for this lawnmower, so we'll just leave it at that. Leave it at that, all right. Get a light in here. I, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Oh, maybe a carpet in here too. No, my car is going to be. Perfect. All right. That's our garage. Horizontal planks everywhere. All right. And then we have another bathroom over here. So the spin for the first floor bathroom. And then I think we have a pantry and we'll be done. And I'm so over this. I'm so over this. We have planks long. Have I done that one yet? No, I haven't done that one. I haven't done this one. Okay. Wow, we're getting all the ty types of wood in here. We have horizontal, planks long. We had bark. We had, um, this is, this is just wood, right? Wood plank? Wood planks. Yeah, we had horizontal, planks long, and wood planks. Okay. I'm gonna put a dash of blue in there. It's kind of nice. <laughs> now do my wall trims again. Now, last but not least, the pantry. This is our last room ever. So let's hope it's a good one. Pantry. I'm only going to be putting shelves in there. There's not much in there either. Okay, and we have <laughs> fabric. <laughs> fabric pen. <laughs> this looks like one of those rooms, you know? It's like It looks like a room where you be put in in a straight jacket. This is where all the foods will be. It's my food pantry, so we're only putting books like shelves in here. Made it a lot more claustrophobic. All right. Are there people lighting up fireworks outside? I hear fireworks. It is July 15th, people. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm adding in this room. That's it. It's a food pantry. There's nothing else I want to add in there. Okay, we are done. Go ahead and tour this monstrosity, shall we? So here is my house from the exterior. It looks completely normal and such until you look inside the windows, you know, through the windows. All right, so first things first, let's go look at the garage, which was horizontal planks. Yay. It actually, it feels like a garage, you know, it's got some shelving. It's got random counter. Okay, if we move along here, a nice porch and I, I still put the porch swing here even though it's literally on the ground. Um, when we walk on in, we have our cobblestone living room area. So you've got, um, I'm, I hope I didn't forget to texture some things. I don't think I forgot, but um, yeah, we have our living room here. We've got our dining area here as well, which is connected. So everything here is in. This one actually kind of looks nice. Why does it look nice? I don't know. It feels sort of nice. But there's that. And then here is a bathroom, which is wooden planks. Planks long or something. I don't know. Wooden plank. Oh, it's planks long. These are the long, long planks. So this is a bathroom. Pretty good. Everything is pretty much, yeah, one texture only. Then we head on over here to the kitchen. Ooh, that, that ceiling. Okay. This is our plaid kitchen. So everything here is very plaid. Couldn't change the, te the, the, the textures of the spices, but that's okay. And then here it leads to the backyard, which is nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. I didn't do anything back here um, I, because I also probably ran out of money too. I could have put a few chairs. And over here is the pantry room. Yay. It's a fabric pantry room. All right. And then if we go upstairs, we've got our colorful cubes area. It's our landing. Nothing much is going on out here. Maybe I could have added a coffee table or something there, but yep. This is our bark. This is our bark bathroom. 
the barkiest bathroom ever. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is our um, wooden plank bedroom. Wooden plank bedroom. I actually really like this one for some reason. This is our um, detailed tiles, or I called it titles. Detailed tiles, uh, royal bedroom in here. A little bit trippy, I will say. By the way, I've colored this. This, this is the interior. I couldn't change the texture of that, so there's that. Got to make sure. And then last but not least, this is our... Futuristic patterned laundry room, which is, yeah, a laundry room. Nothing really much. You have a window here. And that concludes my house. But yeah, anyway, guys, that will wrap up today's Blockberg video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And make sure you hit the subscribe button too, because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time out here to watch this. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody. Gosh, my eyes. I hope you guys weren't so tortured from this video, but um, yeah, it was. It, some of it turned out pretty decent, but there were some rooms for terrible. Yeah.